Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario 64. So, in the last episode, we got here to, to I almost said the Cooper Brothers Fortress, to Bowser's, Bowser's Castle. We got trapped in a jail cell, escaped from jail, made it back up here, and beat this little door at his own game, I guess. I really don't know what to call it besides that. So guys, I'm gonna save here because I don't wanna, you know, if I die or something. So, I'm actually going to, nah, it's fine. It's, it's perfectly okay. So guys, if you ever need health or anything, you can come down here, and waiting you, in all of its magnificent glory, will be a Koopa Patrol. But not just... Okay, really? Really? Not just any Koopa Patrol. A Koopa Patrol guarding a jail cell, and that's extremely important, because that means there are people in the jail cell. And that means there are toads in the jail cell. You see what I'm getting, what I'm getting at here. If you don't, then you're about to see what, what I'm getting up here. He has the prison key. If you open up the prison with the prison key, it's really that simple. You can come in here and you can just talk to this toad over here. Psst. Psst. The toad has a slogan is to refresh your body and soul. This isn't a real toad house, but you can take a quick nap here if you feel like it. Or you can take a nap. Oh, uh, sure, I can take a nap. This, these are difficult times. Oh, no. And we can see Mario's sleeping animation. Not covered up by a blanket this time. Did you sleep well? Then take care and go! Oops, shh. I should be quiet, otherwise they'll find us. Mario, your main goal is to serve the princess, isn't it? She must be doing well. She must be doing okay, holding on to the belief that you'll come. We soldiers should have broken out to save her by now, but it's taken all of our efforts just to protect the prisoners. What a shame. Mario, you're safe! I'm so glad! We got all got captured before we knew what was happening. A few people at the party were able to get away, but they caught most of us. I wonder where Princess Peach and the Minister and all the other guests are. I'm really worried about them. I come all the way from the dry dry desert to Princess Peach's castle and look what happens. I've been to some lame parties, but that was ridiculous. I want to go back to the desert as soon as possible. That was not a lame party. That was actually a really cool party. It just got crashed by Bowser. And honestly, Bowser makes everything lame. I'm sorry, but look at, look at freaking uh, Mario Kart. Everything was going good until you reached Bowser's Castle in the N64 one, and you went, no one was happy there. Everyone got hit by the random freaking flying Womps. Wait. No, it's uh, Womps. Womps, I think. Womps Fortress or Womps? I think it's Womps. Whatever, I'm, I'm kind of rambling right now. Well, who are you, man? I don't know your face. Maybe you're Mario, huh? <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm the guard of this warehouse. I'm really, really bored, man. Hey, you know, if you got any coins, I'll sell you stuff. No, I don't have any coins. What? You got nothing? Lame. But yeah, he'll sell you things for ridiculous prices. They're like two or three times the normal shop prices. But I guess you've got plenty of coins so far in here, so it only makes sense. Personally, I have 124 coins. Let me suck buy things. I just don't have room for it right now. Drinking water. Now prepare for some battles. Huh. Weren't expecting that, were you? And this is the battle I was talking about before. The battle where we're going to first tattle this Buzzy Beetle. Bony Beetle, not Buzzy. These are Bony Buzzy Beetles, hence the name. Max HP 8, attack power 3, defense power 4. It's tough to damage them. When their spikes are out, their attack power is 5. When they retract their spikes, they take the opportunity to flip them over. After that, beat them will be a breeze. Alright, not a problem then. Just jump on you. And sadly, defense up, flips back over, defense up again. Alright, so that's actually not so bad. Tattle a magic Koopa. This is the Magic Koopa. Magic Koopas are the elite magicians of the Koopa clan. Max HP 11, attack bar 6, defense bar 0. Tread carefully, Mario. Their magical attacks pack is seriously with punch. They know many nasty spells. We better beat them before they can do anything crazy. They can actually do quite a few things. Increasing the stats of enemies is the least of your worries. What's more concerning is when they make your enemies transparent. That's not a good feeling not be able to hit the enemy who's beating the crap out of you. That combined with the buffs is terrifying, I'm not even gonna lie. Now he runs away from the battle because he has no one to buff up. Honestly, they're cowardly, they're nothing to be worried about once you, uh, as long as you can take care of them quick enough, or if they have, they don't have party members, then they're just gonna run. 
So, this battle is not good because I just realized I still have Gumbario out. Uh. PK Starstorm! Yeah, I'm gonna be spamming this quite a bit during these. Because honestly, there's a lot of enemies in a lot of these battles. Alright, just gonna head monk you. Come at me, bro. Oh, really? You're gonna pull that crap on me? Okay. Well, I'm gonna switch over to Cooper. And Cooper's not gonna have any of this crap right now. I normally use Bombet in a lot of these battles, and I would right now if it wasn't for the fact that I'm trying to conserve a little bit of FP. Defense up by one, not that bad actually. Alright. Kill him. I'll switch over to Bombet just so I can use her in future battles, but I'm not going to be able to use her right now. Oh, cool. Rhymony. Never mind. Blow him up right now. Ah, dang it. Okay, good. I beat him. Once again, those attacks can be devastating, lowering your HP by quite a bit. I'd rather not head back to the Toad House already. He'd kind of give me a weird look, thinking, like, is this guy really all that great? Did he just hit my party member and it affected me? Oh well. Let's use Mega Bomb. And with that, I will be using an item. I will be using Shooting Star. I have it on me. I worst case scenario, I go and buy an item or something. I mean, I can backtrack. You guys don't really have to watch that. It would keep me safe. But this also allows me to pick up any items I find, which is not that big of a deal. And now in the next room, uh, let's switch over to Lackalester. We're not gonna fight any enemies in these rooms, so we don't really have to worry about combat prowess. Instead, we're gonna be worrying about moving around. <laughs> Fun times. Now that I'm up here, I can switch over to Sushi. Because as you might guess, that is a diving board. And this right here, Fills up the room with a lot of water. I don't know how much they have this water, or how they have this much water, but I will say that I really like the water effect. It looks really nice. Sorry about the lack of commentary, drinking more water. Oh, oh apparently you can't go through when you're way down there. That's weird. Oh well. But if you head up here, you can just jump on this and it'll open up a switch that'll get you up here to pull up Bombette. They're not going to be straightforward with us at any point in this. Everything's just going to be running around using as many party members at one time as you can. And it's kind of like, it's not annoying I wouldn't say, but it's just like, oh come on, there was no need for that. But this actually looks really cool in my opinion, just flipping like that. But you can see the chain all the way down there. So it's suggested you use Lockalester to get there more quickly. It makes sense. Kind of. I don't know. What does make sense is jumping on this and more water. Because you know the last few rooms have done the same thing. My question is, how much water is there? Because I see like freaking like open windows down there. Like ones that aren't really windows, they're more just chained over. So it's enough to fill those rooms back there as well. That's kind of insane. But if you swim across this using sushi, I don't know how anyone would ever have got this key up here unless they could have flown. Heck, we could have sent Paracarry up here. Paracarry should have done this for us. Would have saved us so much time. But no, Paracarry can't go on without us. Hmm, that'd be silly. So, how did we get the water back down? How did... How did we... My controller is dead. Beer back. Alright guys, I'm back. 
So, you know, Wiimote batteries died, I just had to replace them. I luckily have rechargeable batteries because I went, yeah, this is costing way too much money. So a couple years back, I went and picked up some and then got more as gift for my mother. And I got really lucky with that. So I have something like 16 in total or something. It's extremely useful to have. If anyone even like has issues spending a lot of money on them, I would suggest getting some rechargeable batteries and a rechargeable battery pack. Find them on sale somewhere, get them like half off or something, and then enjoy them for the rest of your life. They last a couple years and will save you so much money if you're anyone like me who uses remotes for practically everything. I don't, like, oops. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm like, I'm on a computer, I'm on playing some game, I'm always doing something. There's just not a time when I'm not. And the few times that I'm not, like, I'm, like, out somewhere, or I'm doing something, and I'm just, I don't know, sometimes even listen to the radio. I'm out uh, in the car listening to the radio, and I'm just kind of like, eh, I'm still appreciative. So, these guys, I'll tattle in a minute for the moment. I messed that up terribly. I don't know why I did that badly. But I've already shown off Sushi's full potential during the... F I got so worried. I thought they had like 6 HP. I forgot they only have 3 HP. But they have 6 power, which makes them a huge threat. But these guys can actually be literally nothing to you. Um... Oh, come on! I was hammering you! So yeah, if you're not careful, they will totally stomp you, and that will hurt. This is a bombshell bill. Bombshell bills have such beautiful gold casings. Of course, if you sit in a room, you'll get hit. Max HP 3, attack power 6, defense power 0. Pay attention to their HP because their explosions get bigger as their HP drops. Let's take them out before they get near us. Yeah, these guys are not fun to have around. So I was just using Cooper on them to kill them all in one go. You can actually grind, kind of, off of them. Here, uh, I'll show off... What I'm gonna do. Um... Yeah, I'll show off what I mean grinding. Oh, come on, he was not... That was late as hell. So, I'm going to heal myself by 20. I don't really need the star power right now, and I can just focus for it later on. And Cooper over here can power shell them for me. Not an issue. So what you can do is, A, you can grind experience, you can grind some money here if you want to. I don't know why you would, but heck, you might want to. Oh, come on! I got so lucky, he just flew off the screen. So, I'm going to just focus, get some of my energy back, and have Cooper over here help me out seriously with this. Power shot him, brother. <laughs> yeah, so you can have Cooper just take them all out. I would not be grinding up uh, star power or whatnot from them. Instead, I'll be using Bombetch. There we go. Boom. And I'll switch over in just a minute. Um, I think I'm gonna power bounce. As you can see, they have a lot of defense. Oh my gosh, guys. I forgot how easy it is to do these guys, as long as you hit it right as he's doing stuff in animation right at the bottom. Oh my gosh, that guy is dead. Um, yeah, that's how you power bounce on those guys, guys, uh, not, not a problem. <laughs> Alright guys, let's tattle one. This is a B-Bill Blaster. Bombshell Bill Blasters are shoot a constant stream of bombshell bills. 
Max HP 10 attack, uh, defense power 4. They won't attack you directly. They're pretty resilient. If you have to keep them attacking on, uh, yeah, you keep have, really? You have to keep attacking them, otherwise the air will be filled with bombshell bills. Nobody wants that. Well, I don't, I don't really have to. So guys, I'm gonna charge up my, uh, star power a little bit. Not my star, yeah, my star power. I'm not wrong about that. Um, uh, back with Let's switch over to Cooper. He'll shoot out one of those. So guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So I'm just gonna super bounce this guy. No need to mince words. He's dead, 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 and dead. Honestly, he's of no threat, really. They're not bad, as long as you get the first strike and they don't. Spell increases the amount of coins. Because, you know, I needed more coins in my life. I always need more coins. Don't you know the plot of the Super Mario Bros. 2? I don't. I mean, new Super Mario Bros. 2. Not the original. Haha! -ha. Did not mean to jump on you, but haha! -ha. Now that I've jumped on you, I can kill you! Because that's what I meant to do! I totally didn't mean to not do that! As you can see, I'm almost at full star power. It wasn't necessary to do another for me. Oh, come on! Oh my gosh, I got so lucky! I always get so lucky with these, it's really nice. There was no... I don't even know why I even charged that up now that I think about it. <laughs> First strike! So, I think with these battles, nothing really interesting is going to happen, so I'm going to cut them out. I'll be back in a minute, guys. Double star points! That is a really good feeling. 12 star points from that one battle, not bad by any stretch of the imagination. We're gonna be leveling up really soon. Um, I actually don't... Yeah, I think I'm gonna pull out Watt for these since they have so high defense anyway. Oh, come on! Lucky again! I'm the luckiest guy sometimes! It's ridiculous! These guys did not stand a chance. I feel so bad for them and their parents. Because their parents have to deal with how bad they feel. Oh, come on! Again! Super lucky! Now we're in this battle. So this battle is slightly different, but not really. Um, I'm gonna start by taking this guy. It's not hard to deal with these guys. You just have to know how you're gonna deal with it. For me, I'm just gonna toy obliterate them. Alright, um I'm just gonna jump on you since you have to deal a lot of damage. Going to just shock you so I don't have to deal with any more bullet bo bombshell bills. Not bullet, bombshell bills. And now you're going to be a little punk about this. So, start out by an Electro Dash. And just bounce. I didn't really need to. I guess that's the exact amount of health he had. But I didn't really need to do that. I could have just saved the FP. Eh. Oh well. The things you think of too late, right? It was not your turn! Ah, oh, dang it, finally one hit me. And now here's an even more different one. So, um, you really gotta pick your poison here. Which one do you wanna deal with? I don't like Magikoopas, they're the most annoying thing ever. 
in addition to not liking Magic Hoopas, I don't like Bombshell Bills. So, you know, which one's worse, right? More defense, but this doesn't even matter. They don't even attack me. But thanks anyways, more lovely. I know you're really trying to care for me. Now, I'm going to pick my poison, and my poison is uh, killing one of the Bombshell Blasters and killing all the Bombshell Bills. And then, what? I need you to fly in and do that. So with that, eight star points. We are so powerful. If you head up here, you can deal with these annoying enemies. So I would not suggest using Goombario, but for tattling's sake, I'm going to use it. These enemies, I think everyone knows what these enemies are. These are Dry Bones. This is a Dry Bones. Dry Bones are Skeletor Mange from Koopa Troopas. Max HP, Attack Power 4, Defense Power 2. Just when you think they're beat, these guys ride back. Excuse me. Rise back up and attack again. You're going to have to beat them all at once. Or you could use Fire Attacks. If they become Ashes, there's no way they will recover. So I suggest you use Koopa... Koopa? Uh, Cooper's uh, Fire Attacks? not your best bet it's actually a better bet to use another party member here I'll be able to show off that party member in a minute I'm not gonna show off yet because I want to show off uh, what it, what it looks like to beat them quote unquote beat them if you quote unquote beat them that means just taking them out they don't give it any star points at all there's no benefit to doing like that but if you pull up Bombette and use it against this guy. Now I'm going to use her Power Bomb ability. 17 damage. That wasn't your imagination. They are extremely weak to both fire and explosions. You can totally destroy them and they give 4 star points each. Which is fantastic for an enemy at this point in the game. I mean, I'm so freaking high level. Just attack. And now you're gonna attack me? No, you're gonna summon another guy to try to beat me. It's not gonna work, dude. It's never gonna work. Ever. You can just keep summoning all your little buddies. They can all be like, oh, hey, we're gonna fight you. You're still not gonna change the outcome of this battle. You're dead. All you do is sending your own teammates to slaughter. Which, no, you're dead, but, you know, at least you're not sending all your friends to death. And with that, we get eight state, eight, eight state, what? Eight star points. With eight star points, we are so freaking close to leveling up again. But what you can do in this room, you can actually push. I thought it was that first one. Oh, it's the last one. I forgot. You can push in every one of these rooms that we're going to come up, uh, come along, I guess. You're going to be able to push one of those things out of the way. And, uh, just going to tell you this now. Well, yes, the, uh, dry bones are weak to, uh, Bombed over here. Sadly, the rest of the bone enemies are not. It's kind of a bummer, in my opinion. Okay, I'm going to use your fresh. Uh, loving from this old man. I'm loving old men. What? Boom. So two of them are dead. Ow. One of them is about to die. And... Let's see if, he, if she has enough power with her bomb to blow him up. She does not. But she can turn off his spikes, making him completely useless. Um... What do I want to do? I, actually, I'm going to level up. No use doing anything since I'm going to level up. I 
I have the exact amount necessary. That feels so good. Alright, I'm gonna raise my HP again. I know nor normally I was saying like, oh hey, you should use your uh, FP, raise your FP, yada yada yada, but honestly I'm playing a little bit different now. I I've done this a few times and I realized that against the final boss, having these FP recovery items is all you're going to need. There is a HP block right there. I completely forgot about that actually. But um having these H these FP recovering items are actually more important. So Ooh. God you're annoying. Alright, we use power bomb these guys to, you know, decimate them. And use Star Storm to once again decimate them. The enemies in the final area, if you use good strategy, you can decimate them, but you have to realize that it's going to be taxing, so you should bring plenty of items that can uh, make you recover. So, let's just move on. They had the decency to just leave the door open since they figured we weren't stupid. And I take back my words, because that was actually a trick. There's actually nothing down there. If you instead head over here... They tricked us! They, honestly, I was practicing this area, I completely forgot about this puzzle. And I just spent forever, I spent like 20 minutes trying to figure it out. Well, it wasn't 20 minutes, that's an over-exaggeration. I spent a good like 7 minutes just looking through these rooms. And 7 minutes in recording time feels like 30 minutes out of recording time. It's just like, you're constantly sitting there yelling at yourself inside, just like, I'm so stupid, how have I forgotten this? Where, where am I even supposed to go? Woo. Actually, while well, I'm here, no reason not to get that FP back that I just spent. And now, I will use the castle key I just got, while also saving so if I die, it's a thing. Alright. <sighs> Who would have thought you could make it this far? You won't make it any farther, because unfortunately for you, I won't let you pass. Gah! But... I guess if you really want, I'll give you one chance, because I know there's no way you'll make it anyway. Want to give it a shot? Yeah. This is completely pointless, but I suppose I'll give you a try, because of course I have such a kind and generous heart. <laughs> Just joking, worm. Yeah. Now, Mario, do you want to know what I have in story for you? Now for a little quiz, several of my followers will come out here. Your job is to carefully keep track of their numbers and colors. Now. You you have to answer my questions correctly. Quite frankly, we both know that this is possible, but if you get five questions right, oh, you go through here. You're only allowed two mistakes, though. <laughs> Fool that you are, you I can make three mistakes and suffer the dire consequences. Let's get going. I honestly have no idea what uh, the thing is. Three Koopas, four Goombas. Okay. Uh, time's up. This is legitimately time, but I have no idea what happens if you get through it wrong. I've never done it. Now, tell me, how many Koopas were there? Three Koopas. These questions are by no means hard. Grr, you're right! That question must have been way too easy. Now they'll be harder. Next question. Three red, four blue, four green. So there are three red, four blue, four green. Alright, not a problem. Now, which were there three of? Red. Er, you're right! That question must have been too easy. Now they'll be harder. Next question. Two green, two red, four blue. Two green, red, blue. Two green, two red, four green. Now, which came out the middle? Red Shy Guys. That's correct. Uh, you're right. Uh, next question. There are four Koopas, 
two Goombas, three Blue Shy Guys, one Green. Now, how many Goombas were there? There were two. Grr, right answer. Arr, I can't believe you're guessing four answers right. Oh, all right, enough of this. I'm gonna quit messing around and ask you a really hard one. Next question. <gasps> yeah, that's what they're throwing at us. Yeah. Time's up! Now, how many qu how many arms did you see? You might want to say six since there are three guys. No, there's actually four. And the reason I remember there's four is thanks to Lukajin's thing, no arms. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. I can't wait to get to that game. I will be doing all the Paper Mario games on my channel at some point. And yes, I mean all, even Paper Mario Sticker Star. I'm... You can quote me on that, because eventually I will do it, I just probably won't do it in the next two years. I will be doing the uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door probably next year, and Super Paper Mario probably either at the end of next year or in 2016. I can't believe this, you got five of my super duper brain busters right. I've been defeated by Mario, oh the shame. But yeah, he, that was really all he had to throw at us. Uh, I can't carry anymore, so I'm not even going to grab those. I think those are all uh, Super Shrooms. Oh god, my stomach. I, I, I remember, if you remember right, I said I ate a donut last episode. Kind of regretting it because it's starting to mess with my stomach. I forgot that I wasn't exactly feeling 100% yet. My stomach keeps giving me this weird acid reflux thing. Jump on you. Jump on you. My, my stomach's giving me a little bit of an acid reflux thing recently, and it kind of sucks, but, you know, can't really do anything about it. Alright, I think... Well, I can't even do it. Yep, sure enough, I'm gonna drop the Super Shroom to grab this gem and jelly. Nothing great about that uh, Super Shroom anyway, who cares about it? Uh. Get into this fight with this uh, Magic Koopa. The reason I'm doing these fights right now isn't really because I need to, but more because I realize that I can actually level up once more before the final boss fight, and I just want to do it just a mock. Bowser. Just say, haha, I'm better than you in every single way. Also because I want to be able to unload even more attacks without having to worry about health and FP. Alright, this battle, about the same kind of stuff as before. Um... Yeah, same kind of thing, nothing to worry about, I'm just gonna blow them sky high with my Mega Bomb anyway. Since I'm actually coming up to what I would like to call the finale. <laughs> Oh, you are such a jerk. And he's summoning another guy. Alright, well, I guess I'll jump on you then. And use another Mega Bomb. And now I'm down to one. One more enemy to fight. I kind of wonder how many turns I have to deal with this crap before I can, you know, just do a hit-all move or something. Oh, no need to. Now I can just jump on your head because you're stupid. Huh, <laughs> good thing you're dumb. Uh, 
All right. So if you head in here, then guys, this is gonna be the point where we move on to the finale. So guys, next time on Let's Play Paper Mario 64, we're gonna be finally reaching the final episode, reaching Bowser and taking down Princess Peach. Wait, taking down? Saving Princess Peach. Taking down Bowser. I failed my own outro. That's humiliating. Bye.